let's see one problem from differential equation now this we have to solve so this is dy by dx equals to x plus 2y minus 3 divided by 2x plus y minus 3 now if the question is of this form dy by dx equals to a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by a2x plus b2y plus c2 then we have two type of problems in first type of problem a1 by a2 is equal to a b1 by b2 now in case that is equal something will definitely come common in both numerator and denominator so you take that common thing as t or z or any variable then this reduces to reduces to variable separable and you very well know how to solve problems based on variable separable now second type of problem we have when a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 now in this type of case what we do we will discuss separately in this question only okay so uh, first uh, type of problem one problem i have already done on that uh, you can go through my ordinary differential equation playlist you will find that uh, problem if you can't find you can comment below i will give uh, you the link so let's uh, see that uh, in this case your a1 by a2 that is the coefficient of x are 1 and 2 so 1 by 2 then if you look at b1 by b2 so that is coming out to be 2 by 1 so obviously a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so what we will do we will follow some steps after which this will reduce to homogeneous now this is interesting uh, the first one reduces to variable separable and this one reduces to homogeneous and again homogeneous we already know how to solve so we can apply our uh, knowledge and solve that so what we do we replace small x by capital X plus H and replace small y by capital Y plus K. Okay. So if we substitute it here, uh, also if you differentiate, so first equation if you differentiate, so you will get uh, dx equals to uh, d of capital X, derivative of constant is 0, h and k here is constant and dy equals to okay now from here you can easily say that dy by dx is equal to d capital y by d capital x so instead of small dy by dx i get the capital uh, dy by dx equals to x will be replaced by capital x plus h so capital x plus h and y to be replaced by capital y plus k so 2 times capital y plus k minus 3 x to be replaced by capital x plus h y to be replaced by capital y plus k minus 3 now take uh, the constant terms separate so if you look here you are getting x plus 2y okay and the constant thing you are getting is h plus 2k minus 3 this is your constant thing in denominator you are getting 2x plus y and the constant thing you are getting is 2h plus k minus 3. 
Now, if you can see, if uh, this constant were not there, then this was homogeneous. Look at this carefully. This is homogeneous. So, we will choose such values of h and k so that this brackets become 0. So, how we can do that? Just solve h plus 2k minus 3 equals to 0 and 2h plus k minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, so we will solve this two linear equation. How can we do that? I just multiply first equation by 2. So you will get 2h plus 4k minus 6 equals to 0. And second equation remains as it is. So you are getting, if you subtract, signs will get changed. And this will go, so you are getting 3k minus 6 plus 3 so minus 3 equals to 0 so 3k equals to 3k equals to 1 now if you put the value of k equals to 1 in first equation so h plus 2 into 1 is 2 minus 3 equals to 0 h minus 1 equals to 0 so h you are getting as 1 so h equals to 1 k equals to 1 so for these values if you put this value this 2 will become 0 Fine. Now, we have choose this uh, value of h and k. Now, we'll, if you put this, this will become 0. Okay. So, remember these values. We'll use them in the last. Now, once using this value, our... Now, when the value of the constant terms becomes 0, then our dy by dx, which is capital dy by dx that becomes equal to x plus 2y divided by 2x plus 1. Let me check it whether this is because we choose such value of h and k so that the constant term in both numerator and denominator becomes equal. Now this is uh, this has is been converted to homogeneous equation. Now we can take capital Y equals to Vx. If you differentiate both sides, you will get uh, dy by dx equals to V as it is derivative of x is 1 plus x as it is derivative of V is dv by dx. Now, uh, this is there. Now we can use this right here in place of dy by dx, v plus x dv by dx equals to. This will become uh, x plus 2vx divided by 2x plus vx. As you can see, x is getting cancelled in both numerator and denominator. So, we we'll, are getting v plus x dv by dx equal to 1 plus 2v divided by 2 plus v. Now if you take this v to the right hand side, you will get x dv by dx equals to 1 plus 2v divided by 2 plus v minus v. So x dv by dx equals to 1 plus 2v minus 2v. So 1 plus 2v minus 2v minus v square divided by 2 plus v. This gets cancelled. So now we are getting uh, x dv by dx equals to 1 minus v square divided by 2 plus v. You can, now this has been converted to variable separable form. Now it's easy for us. Uh, if you send this to that side, so 2 plus v divided by 1 minus v square, dv equals to dx by x. Integrate both sides. Now in this, uh, we can easily say that this is nothing but 
टू आउटसाइड वन अपॉन वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर डी वी प्लस इंटीग्रल ऑफ वी डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर डी इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी एक्स बाई एक्स इज सिंपली लॉग एक्स प्लस लॉग सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन नाउ वन अपॉन ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इज वन बाय टू ए सो ए हेयर इज वन सो वन अपॉन टू ए विल बी वन अपॉन टू लॉग ऑफ ए प्लस एक्स ए हेयर इज वन इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी हैव वी तो वन प्लस वी वन माइनस वी हेयर आफ्टर दिस स्टेप यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्लाई पार्शल फ्रैक्शन दिस फॉर्मूला इज ऑल्सो जनरेटेड फ्रॉम पार्शल फ्रैक्शन इट सेल्फ सो डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस वी प्लस वी डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर सो इन दिस If I take one minus v square as t, so minus two v dv equals to dt. So v dv equals to minus one by two dt. So my integral converts to in place of uh, v dv. I put this divide <coughs> dt by t. So minus one by two log mod t, and t is your one minus v square. So log Uh, it is rather minus one by two log one minus v square equals to this is log c x log a plus log b is log a b. Now this is getting cancelled. Now this is log a by log b. So reverse way I can write log. I am doing this because if someone of uh, someone is solving this by partial fraction. they also reach to the same answer that's why i am doing otherwise i can uh, uh, solve from here also i have got half i would have cancel this this half half i would have merged this but let's uh, solve it in a different way so log a by log b is log a minus log b so log 1 plus v minus log 1 minus v and if you look at this then uh, uh this minus half can be sent to the power so it will be become or this 1 minus v square is nothing but 1 plus v into 1 minus v so again uh, if you look at that that will be log 1 plus v 1 minus v and log ab is same as log a plus log b so log 1 plus v plus log 1 minus v and you have minus half with both the terms okay so you will get minus half log 1 1 plus v And minus half log one minus v equals to log c x. Now look at this. Uh, one minus half is half only, so you are getting half log one plus v. And uh, one, with one minus v, you are getting minus. Uh, If you take common, so one plus one by two, that is three by two log one minus b equals to log c x. I think you all uh, would have been getting this all uh, only after using partial fraction. So I have also reached there. Now I can send this two to that side. So log one plus b. uh mine and if i send this 3 to the power so it will become log 1 minus v cube and this 2 which was in denominator i sent to that side so 2 log cx is same as log cx square 
now log a minus log b is again log a by b so log 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v whole cube this is equals to log c square x square now i can remove log from both sides so i will get 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v whole cube so i am getting 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v whole cube is equals to c square x square what was v uh, y equals to vx so v will be y by x so 1 plus y by x 1 minus y by x whole cube equals to c square x square uh, if you send x cube in numerator so in numerator you are getting x plus y divided by x and this x cube goes up in denominator you are getting x minus y whole cube equals to c square x square you are getting x square here which in turns cancel with this x square so you are getting x plus y equals to c square x minus y whole cube c square can be written as any other constant uh, which is let's say a so x minus y whole cube now x y this were our assumption so what is capital x now if you look at capital x uh, it will be capital x will be small x minus h and h is your 1 so minus 1 and capital Y will be again K is also 1 so Y minus 1 so X minus 1 and Y minus 1 so uh, X is X minus 1 and Y is Y minus 1 equals to A times X minus 1 minus y minus 1 whole cube. So x plus y minus 2 equals to a times x minus y minus 1 plus 1. That becomes 0. So you are getting your final answer as x plus y minus 2 is a times x minus y whole cube. So I hope you understood this question uh, very well. Uh, first, I uh, told you what was the basic idea that if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, then it was the take common thing as t, then it reduces to variable separable. And the other case, which was in this question, because a1 by a2 here is not equal to b1 by b2, then I told it, it reduces to homogeneous, then homogeneous further reduces to variable separable. Okay, so take small x as x capital X plus x, small y as capital Y plus k, find dy by dx, uh, small dy by dx in terms of capital dy by dx, then do the manipulation. Now try to make this constant 0, if this constant terms become 0, then only it will become homogeneous. So we take such value of h and k so that this constant terms become 0. After that it was an easy game for us because this became homo homogeneous we know how to solve homogeneous uh, then this homogeneous turned out to be a variable separable we know how to solve variable separable in the end this was basic assumption you would have also gone to for partial fraction from this particular step in denominator you would have written 1 plus v 1 minus v and you would have written uh, this in terms of partial fraction that was also fine uh, no problem whatsoever in that also so uh, this was the final uh, long looking uh, solution but uh, the basic flow I think was easy for you. I hope you understood this question. Thanks and have a very nice day.